What's up, Cappy? This is Mary from High Priestess Intuition. Um, I'm here to do the next 96 for you, um, which is basically the next four days, what's going on in the next four days. Um, it could be, it's general reading, but it could be about anything. We'll see what pops up. It could be um, work, career, day-to-day um, -day life, love, whatever pops up. So let's do this thing. Um, remember, time is fluid. Um, it could have already happened, be happening now, could or could happen in the future. And energy is also fluid, so um, it could be whoever you're thinking of, or um, or you, or the energies can be interchangeable. Um, in my readings, I will tell you if I see whatever I see. I'll tell you. Um, all right, let's get this thing started. Oh, also, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. And also, um, if you are interested in donating to the channel, I, I just started really recently, um, and I super love this, um, and I'd love to continue. So any donation would be appreci much appreciated um, to help support the channel and help it grow. All right, let's get into this. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cappy in the next four days? Next 96. <coughs> Spirit, what messages do you have for Cappy? What message do you have for Kathy? Next 96. Let's get one more. Spirit, what messages do you have for Kathy in the next 96? Spirit, what messages do you have for Kathy in the next 96? What messages you have for Kathy in the next 96? Spirit, okay. Usually I only take five, but six came out, so we'll do six. Okay. First, we have three of wands upright. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, fire, energy, efforts rewarded. These three came out first, okay, so. Then we have uh, temperance in reverse, Sag, Sag energy. So three of wands upright, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, fire energy. It's um, efforts rewarded, success in a business endeavor. Um, it could be um, investments, work, um, or um, some kind of business venture. Um, and then we have temperance in reverse. Now temperance, uh, and it's, which is Sag in energy. <clears throat> so um, I am... You could be dealing with the Sag. I'm feeling Sag up in here so far. You could be dealing with Sag, possibly. Um, but this is reverse. Upright, it's balance, it's um, moderation, it's um, really balancing the scales kind of thing. But this is um, reverse. So I'm thinking, um, let's keep going. 
right, so next we have the devil in reverse, which the devil upright can be severe narcissism, control issues, maybe with a person or a thing, some kind of situation, or um, or toxicities like alcoholism and um, addictions, codependency, things like that. But it's reversed, so that that's good. Because, um, that's like freedom from toxicities. So that, that's a good thing. Okay. All right, next we have the Magician Upright, which is the Manifestor card, Master Manifestor card. So that's um, being able to um, manifest uh, whatever you want to come into fruition, whether it be um, a business venture, a relationship, um, anything of that nature. Anything you want to come into the real 3D that you're working hard for it to produce. All right, next one is uh, three of Pentacles upright. Now, Pentacles are coins, which is money, 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 money. Um, and this is upright. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's um, craftsmanship, successful collaboration, admiration. But it's, it's Earth Energy, it's um, money, 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 money. Or it could be related to some kind of business venture, work venture, investment, something of that nature. All right, the next is um, five of um, swords, upright, conflict, it's upright, which that's how it is, and upright is conflict. <coughs> okay, so here, let's, let me see what's going on here. So we've got... Start um, some kind of um, business venture, um, work venture, uh, or investment. Some kind of you were putting into something of that nature, and it looks like you're you're getting some kind of success in that. So that's that's good. But then you have the temperance in reverse, which let me move these down so you can see them. There we go. So, but then we have the temperance in reverse. So, whatever um, money, money, business, or investment venture, um, something related to your stability, whatever that was going on for you, it's not balanced, it looks like. It's not properly balanced. Or maybe you're taking, maybe you're going out partying too much or, or going on um, too much retail therapy or something of that nature. All right, and then the devil in reverse, um, which is... So maybe it uh, looks like you had some kind of business venture um, that's going well. Your efforts are being rewarded. You're getting money, coins, pinnacles. But you're going overboard. Um, maybe you're too much retail therapy. It looks like there might be too much spending going on is what it looks like in this reading. Um, but then it looks like you're getting out of it. So that that's good. So you're tippering you are getting a little more into the more Sag balance energy over here um, and releasing that and um, balancing out a little more. So that, that, that's good. Oh, I just heard, I don't need 10 pairs of shoes. Okay, well, there you go. You don't need 10 pairs of shoes, Sag. I mean, not Sag, Cappy. There you go. Okay. Or maybe you're dealing with a Sag. I feel like you might be dealing with a Sag. Just saying, feeling it strong. Okay, um, so next, we maybe you have a partner that's having retail therapy issues. Maybe your partner's a Sag? I don't know. That's kind of what it's feeling, Kathy, just saying. Okay, um, so the next is um, Magician. Uh, so getting out of that energy uh, feels like it's some kind of retail therapy or overspending or something like that and then now you're trying to manifest um something let me figure out what you're trying to manifest spirit what is Cappy trying to manifest spirit what is Cappy trying to manifest okay king of cups upright so um which is uh water energy um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, 
This also could be, um, this king is very sensitive, um, and he uh, is, he's very emotional. It's water energy, he's very emotional. Um, but it looks like you're trying to manifest a water sign. Um, it could be a, a masculine water sign. Um, but you know, remember, um, it also could possibly be a female water sign um, channeling masculine energy because you know us as humans we channel well one we embody all these signs at some point so all these elements earth water um air uh, fire at some point in our lives you know and we also embody male and female energies from time to time too so um and i'm not feeling heavy male energy here um it it could be, but I'm not feeling it in this reading. I mean, it might be a female channeling male energy. It's what it might, it feels like a little bit, but it, everybody's situation is different. It might, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. So, just saying. Um, so, you're trying to manifest a King of Cups upright, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Spirit. Why is Pappy trying to manifest a King of Cups? Spirit, why is uh, Pappy trying to manifest a King of, King of Cups? Okay. Um, uh, the High Priestess. So, you're trying to manifest a King of Cups because of a High Priestess. Um, which, the High Priestess is, um, she's kind of like the Empress in the Tarot deck. <clears throat> um, and the Empress is all the Queens, which is Earth, Water, Air, Fire. All those manifested into one person. The Empress, upright, is freaking amazing. The High Priestess upright is freaking amazing um she's very similar to the empress in a lot of ways except she's uh known as like the keeper of the secrets so to me she's kind of like the empress on crack but good crack like upgraded upgraded from the empress um she's like the keeper of secrets all-knowing um badass chick is what she is for real for real just right so Cappy, you are trying to manifest a King of Cups because of a High Priestess. Are you having problems with a High Priestess? Um, seems like you might be having problems with a High Priestess, is what it seems like. Um, okay. And I've got fire energy over here, too. So, I've got fire, 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 fire. Eric, I'm <coughs> sad. Yeah, I was feeling Sag over here. So, it might be a Sag you're dealing with. But you're also, um, and this is feeling worky over here. And then, um, now you're trying to manifest a King of Cups because of a High Priestess. Okay. So, next is Three of Pentacles Upright. Which is earth energy, stable, grounded um, um, energy. Um, three of Pentacles upright. So it's um, it's building your craft. It's um, honing your craft, perfecting your craft, um, being rewarded and admired for whatever you're doing with your craft. So um, you're trying to manifest a King of Cups because of a High Priestess, and then is it because because a High Priestess is honing her craft, or maybe possibly the King of Cups is honing their craft, or maybe they're both because they're both honing their craft, possibly because it seems like. Copy. You are, <clears throat> yeah, that's what it seems like. 
Spirit, can you clarify the um, three of pentacles, please? Spirit, can you clarify three of pentacles? I'm hearing YouTube famous. Is somebody out there about to be YouTube famous? Hey now. Woo -hoo, just saying. Um, maybe somebody is on the verge of becoming YouTube famous. Just saying. Maybe, and also I'm sensing some kind of jealousy too with this situation, Kathy. Are you jealous of somebody? Because I'm sensing jealousy, for real, for real. Just saying. Okay. So, Spirit, can you clarify the Three of Pentacles upright? Spirit, can you clarify the Three of Pentacles upright? That might be for somebody out there. That just might be one or two people, by the way. I, I, I'm just telling you what I pick up. And it could be several different situations going on here. You know, there's lots of Cappies in this world. Lots of Sages, lots of um, Cancer Pisces Scorpios, and lots of High Priestess. People that manifest all the elements into one and become High Priestess. So, just saying. Spirit, can you clarify the uh, Three Pentacles upright, please? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 okay. I didn't even that to happen. Okay, so we've got a uh, judgment. So, um, judgment is, um, some kind of, um, it could be some kind of, um, you know, decision, fair, just decision, what it's supposed to be. Um, and it's upright, so um, that's good. So maybe some kind of fair, just decision that you're wanting, um, or, okay. So you're trying to manifest a king of cups and a high priestess. Okay, so now this is kind of making a little more sense. So you're trying to manifest a king of cups and a high priestess for successful collaboration um, or maybe it's possibly a successful venture, business venture um, for fair and just um, judgment. Let me clarify the judgment and make sure I'm right on this. still did send some jealous vibes over here. I mean, not super strong, but a little bit. But it's starting to feel a little more happier over here as we get in further in the uh, next 96. So that's good because it starts off not unbalanced, jealous. Yeah. And then it starts getting better. So that's good as we're moving into the next 96. So further as the days go on in the, these next four days. That's how I'm feeling. Okay, so Spirit, can you clarify the judgment? So you're wanting some kind of judgment. Fair, well, it's upright. So you're wanting some kind of fair, just um, judgment to be made regarding this King of Cups and this High Priestess. Spirit, can you clarify judgment? Spirit, can you clarify judgment? Okay. Um, a 
I've got nine of uh, swords upright because it keeps you awake at night because not having justice uh, not having a fair judgment keeps you awake at night because uh, nine of swords is um, constant is insomniac vibes it's exactly what it is it's constant thoughts that keep you up at night um, and gives you insomnia thoughts anxiety fear worry um, any of those um, and it's upright which is how that the card comes out for insomniac vibes so okay that makes more sense okay and then as we get further on in the next 96 and uh, towards um, the end of the four days we've got co uh, some kind of conflict going on Spirit, can you clarify five of uh, swords? Spirit, can you clarify five of swords? <clears throat> Spirit, can you clarify five of swords? Okay. I've got Empress. Um, Empress. But she came out reversed. So kind of, so, so you're, so you're having some kind of conflict with um, an empress in reverse. Now, empress upright, like I explained earlier, she's very, she's super freaking amazing upright. I mean, she just is. She's all the elements combined into one: earth, water, fire, and um, what am I missing? earth water fire and um air but um reversed she is bitter spiteful vengeful an evil bitter bitch is basically what she is so it seems like you're wanting um you had some kind of work business and um business venture that you were getting some kind of efforts for um this isn't the highest um highest um one in the deck for the tarot but but you are getting some kind of you're putting some kind of efforts in and you were getting rewarded for for something whatever you're doing business work whatever um but then it looks like you were overspending you were losing control um financially it looks like and you were losing your balance too much retail therapy that's what it looks like. Um, and I was also, like I said, picking up some jealousy over here, too. Um, and then, but then you're getting out of that. Because I guess you saw the damn light and you realized, dude, if I spend all my money, I'm going to be up shit, shit up a creek. So you quit doing all that. And then you started trying to manifest a king of cups and a high priestess. And you're trying to manifest a king of cups and a high priestess, it looks like, because you want um, to collaborate with them. Um, collaborate th with them and um, because you want some kind of fair judgment because of some kind of anxiety, uh, stress, worry that's been keeping you up at night. But then you get into, it looks like you're getting towards the end of the four days um you get into some kind of conflict with the empress in reverse um bitter nasty spiteful evil bitch uh spirit can you clarify the empress in reverse empress upright is ridiculously freaking awesome but in reverse she is just can't deal with that bitch for real for real for real spirit can you clarify the empress in reverse please Spirit, can you clarify the Empress in reverse? Um, oh, okay, so got oops. Um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is Earth energy towards Capricorn Virgo. Um, Upright, it is um, fascination, wonder, or possibly some kind of new school opportunity, a work opportunity, or something like that. But in reverse, it is um, it's like a work opportunity or a new school opportunity, either taken away or squandered or um, 
something like that. So you so you get into this conflict. You're wanting to manifest these because this is two people. It looks like up in this reading, Cappy. Um, and I know earlier I said you were, might have been dealing with the Sag, and you might erase situations different. So for some folks, you might be dealing with the Sag over here. But in this reading, it looks like there is definitely Sag energy over here for sure. But as it's becoming more clear, it looks like the actual people you're dealing with in this next 96 is uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, water energy, um, and a high priestess, main. And then, as you get towards the end of the four days, you're having a conflict with with the Empress. Okay. So as you're at the nearing the end of the four days, you're getting into a conflict with the Empress in reverse, bitter, nasty, spiteful, evil, bitter bitch, um, over some kind of work opportunity being taken away or business opportunity or some kind of new school venture that either you squandered it or this empress in reverse squandered it it just tore it to bitter damn bits that's what it looks like look and it really looks like this empress in reverse had to do with this conflict and this taken away of this school opportunity, work opportunity, or business opportunity. Looks like she uh, tore whatever this was into the damn ground, is what it looks like. Okay. Well, I think that pretty much sums it up, Kathy. Um, I really hope this helped. Um, if it did, please leave me a comment um, and let me know because I would freaking love to know. For real, for real, for real, for real. Um, I just really would. Um, ooh, you know what I just heard? Too many noses in the pot. I, I don't know what the hell that means. I mean, maybe that means something to somebody. But it sounds, it, too many noses in the pot mean, oh, what it sounds like. I've never heard that phrase before. But what it sounds like is too many people were in your damn business or in some kind of business um like people were just being too motherfucking nosy is what it sounds like okay but i just heard that so that was for somebody so just saying all right well i'm gonna close it out here cappy i really really hope it helps if it does please let me know i would for real for real would love to know i really really would um and if you uh if my vibe uh, resonates with your soul vibe um you can like share and subscribe i would Mucho, mucho, mucho. Appreciate it. For real, for real. Um, and uh, if you're interested in personal reading, the description for the information, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Um, I will need the person's uh, date of birth uh, if you do want a personal reading. Um, and a brief description of the situation with your person of interest because, you know, I've got to have something to go on. These are general readings, and this is the next 96 um, uh, cap. So this is what... Go um, going on in the next four days. Of course, um, everybody has free will. So, you know, you have the power to change this depending on decisions you make and, um, and things of that nature. But this is just, you know, a brief overview of what the cards say. Um, but anyways, if you're interested in the personal reading, I will need the uh, person's date of birth and I will also need a brief description because I have to have something to go on because I'll be folk channeling and focusing in on that person. So just, just letting you know. And you have to allow 48 hours for that too. Um, turn around on that. All right, Cappy. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you again next 96.